Mr. Builder, sir, may I have a moment of your time? Uh, sure. Our team of archaeologists had discovered an ancient artifact up in space and was wondering if you can identify it. Sure, I suppose I could take a few minutes, but i um, kind of busy um, building and getting ready for the next uh, city update. Wait, did you, did you say space? I, I only see a ceiling fan. Hey Lego fans, welcome to a special throwback edition of this old Lego brick. I want to take a moment and share one of my sets from my childhood as a thank you for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't done so, that's okay. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And at the end, make sure you subscribe. Now, the set I want to show you today is the two-man scooter number 891, and it was issued in 1979. So I was about five years old, and I received it as a Christmas present from Santa, of course. Now, this has a lot of cool features. I did not have a lot of Lego sets uh, when I was five, so I'm just going by memory here. Uh, first thing I would like to tell you is I apologize. These are the original Legos I dug into my old dusty collection uh, and found all the pieces and rebuilt this thing. I do not have the pilot anymore. I don't know what happened to him. Um, but that is another story, I suppose. But let me just show you some of the things that I remember when I built this. First, you have this special green piece. I had one other from a previous set. I believe it was a space buggy set. But this is where um, an astronaut can swivel this and use it as a laser gun or some other kind of beam. And then if you wanted to explore, he could just you know take it off and carry it around with him. I thought that was just awesome. Uh, it also had two steering wheels, so you had, if you had another spaceman, he can fit right in that little cockpit area and um, fly around together, which was awesome because I think I got this set and a little buggy set that year for Christmas. Um, that was set number 886, and they were both white spacemen. Uh, you can only get white and red at the time that I remember. Um, and I just thought this was great. I really love the transparent pieces. I love the printed pieces. And I really thought these two thrusters down here were really awesome. Some of my favorite pieces as a kid. Now, when I remember building this, I did wonder why the megaphones here? Why the speakers? Uh, these definitely look like um, megaphone trihorn pieces, and I immediately thought speakers, I guess, um, for communication. Though, getting older and looking at it now, uh, it's easy to uh, realize that they are not speakers, but they are thrusters in space. You can move different directions, and these little thrusters allowed subtle movements to negotiate where the spacecraft needed to go. So what does this set mean to me? Well, looking back, first of all, it was the first set that I remember building. Uh, I opened up the box, I got this set and another set, the smaller space buggy that I mentioned before, 
and I built these myself. I remember sitting near or under the Christmas tree and building them. Um, I might have gotten a construction set that year too. I'm beginning to think about a, there's a construction set that I might have had. But um, I don't remember many other presents. I do remember that I got a giant sugar daddy from my mother. Um, also some strong memories. This was the first Christmas that I did not see my mother. My parents were going through a divorce at the time uh, or they had divorced two years previously, I should say. And so my mom wasn't there uh, for whatever reason. I'm sure I got other gifts. I really remember a handful. Um, that's just the way memories are, especially when you're five years old. I think uh, divorce is probably the first time uh, you realize that you're no longer in a bubble anymore. Your parents, parents like to keep their kids uh, protected and that means emotionally as well and um, and so I think this is the first time that it really sunk in I have of course memories of that moment you know when they decided to separate and divorce and you know some of the arguments but um, for the most part I think not having my mom around for Christmas I think that's what kind of woke me up or made this memory strong for me and you know I really enjoyed opening up these gifts these Legos for Christmas uh, I really enjoyed putting them together and the many hours that I had playing with them so let me tell you one of the cool things that I did uh, when I was hunting for the pieces uh, to build this thing uh, I found almost all of them immediately. However, it took me a while to find uh, the little gun piece here as well as these two thrusters. Now you find one, you have to find the other. And I had a very hard time finding them. I came across uh, a multitude of black ones, but I did not find any gray elements. I think I only have these two in my old Lego collection. So. Uh, I kind of fancied the idea of building a black version of this um, two-man scooter. So uh, let's let's go ahead and check it out. Looks pretty good. All the pieces I used are again from my old Lego collection. I found all of the elements, um, except of course for the printed piece here. Uh, I don't have the black thruster elements and this printed computer here show you is from an underwater set from years ago now only if we can find somebody to pilot this thing I think I might have somebody who may be interested and here he is all right yes Black is his color. The new and the classic meat. And ah, oh, there you go. Now this is a great set and it would act as a great display model along with Benny. If you happen to have that minifigure and you don't have the spaceship, spaceship, spaceship set from the Lego movie, I do not. But even if it's not this set, you can build something in this similar style. You don't have to have all the printed pieces. There are other sets with the instructions online that you can search for. Well, there you have it, thanks for watching. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. Um, and if you have, uh, thank you very much. Please like, uh, leave a comment down below. I wanna hear your thoughts and um, share it with a friend. I also want to thank you for allowing me to share a moment of my life with Lego. It has definitely been a long and loving journey with this particular toy. I have very, 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 very fond memories and I continue to make them each and every day 
uh, with you guys and my family. So, until next time, happy building.